So it's the biggest game in the Spanish La Liga, the El Gran Clasico, the game between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Welcome to the Nutmeg on Guardian TV. My name is Solomon Fowa and Dennis returns to us in the studios. It's great to have you. Always a pleasure, Solomon. So um, it's a delicately poised game now. Certainly. Uh, because they are on the same points. And even the previous um, game week, both of them drew matches yeah. coming into this particular fixture. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is going to be happening in that game? Ah, it's going to be it, it's going to be a battle because you know both teams have uh, are on parity right now. You okay. know, talk about uh, the points they both on thirty five points and the battle for whoever heads or uh, the La Liga table is quite uh, very fresh right now and knowing that the match will be played at the Camp Nou, you know, I think it's all to fight for. Do not forget that it's not just a battle for the top uh, for the top and then the second, it's also a battle for who, you know, emerges as the uh, top scorer for La Liga, you know, talk about between Karim Benzema and, and, Lionel, and Lionel Messi. Messi. They're both on 12 goals. And like you also rightly said, that over the weekend, both teams drew, mm -hmm. knowing that uh, Barcelona drew earlier on Saturday. Against you would have teams. expected uh, Real Madrid to have you know, won their match against uh, Villarreal, but then it did not happen. They were held and then... It was against Valencia, actually. Against Valencia, and then they were held. And then, so in this the match... Last-minute intervention from uh, yeah, Benzema. And then, and then in this match, you just expect that you know one of these two teams wins but i do not see that happening now do you think it's it's going to be a bit of political statement you know um this game was actually um postponed from october 26 yeah. because of pro-independence um okay. possibility of pro-independence um protests for the catalans yeah. and barcelona being a catalan side or a catalan club yeah. now do you think it's it's extra motivation for them coming into this fixture knowing they are playing against real madrid if you call it a motivation, I, I would also not differ on that because uh, don't forget that even after the match was postponed, you know, Barcelona was the team out of the two that uh, sort of protested mm, that, you, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be uh, postponed. But now that the match will be coming live, I, I think they will just, you know, do all that they can to give their fans and also the Catalans something to uh, cheer for, knowing that... Uh, the match that was postponed is now being played and they, uh, they, they would also try to give them everything to celebrate about. I know you've tried to sit on the fence on this one, but I'm going to be putting you on the spot. What do you think um, is going to be the final scoreline in that particular fixture come Wednesday? Final fixture, I don't, I don't see anything uh, happening other than what, has, what is already playing out in the uh, La Liga table. So I see both teams, you know, coming out of uh, square. Probably 1-1, 2-2. Mm, interesting. No Thank you so much for talking to Always us. Always a nutmeg. pleasure. So that's all we can take on the Nutmeg today. Please let us know in the comment section what you think from that particular fixture. Barcelona against Real Madrid. Do you think Leo, Lionel Messi is going to be scoring a goal or Benzema is going to be extending his scoring record? Uh, yeah, making it more than 12 goals this season in the La Liga. Thank you so much for watching the Nutmeg on Guardian TV. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you should absolutely do that. Thank you once again for watching. This has been the Nutmeg.